Hey everybody, it's Allison from Dream A Little Bigger and today I am going to show you how to do this very, very lovely spike stitch. Um, it's really simple. If you know how to do a single crochet, you can make this. Um, and uh, with a little bit of patience, it's pretty, pretty easy. I mean, the spikes do kind of give you trouble, but heck, we got it. We got it covered, right? Um, so I'm going to show you, just in case you don't like pictorials, which is also on the blog at dreamlittlebigger.com, link somewhere down there. Um, so uh, if you like videos, great. If you don't like my voice, because I don't, you can go um, look at the pictorials with just pictures. Um, and you don't have to hear me talk. Okay, so first of all, one of the great things about this is you don't have to count your stitches. Um, you can if you want to have a very specific pattern, but if you don't, you totally don't have to. So we're just going to do a little swatch here while I've got you. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to chain however many times you want or how many of your, however many times you figure you need. Um, what you're going to do is not the next um, chain, but the one just after you're going to start your single crochets. And you're going to go... Isn't that first one always just a toughie? Jeez. You're going to um, go all the way down the line here. And you're just going to single crochet. And because it seems a little awkward just, you know, having you watch my hands move and doing nothing else, I'm going to awkwardly fill the silence. Um, let's see. Sorry for the stains on my hands. Actually staining a lot of wood. Keep them busy. You know, DIY, all that stuff. Also at dreamalittlebigger.com. Um, let's see here. Just keep on doing this. And to be honest, I have no idea why the single crochet curls up like this. It just does. I've been told that if I learn to do um, crochet without a foundation chain, that it would be no problem, no issue at all. But I'm old school, I guess. I'm resisting. You got to start with a chain. Okay. We're almost there. I'm almost going to be quiet. Actually, you know what? i got to do like four more of these. Um, I will get back with you in a minute. Okay. So we are back with a whole mess of single crochets. I've actually got one, two, three, four um, rows and a cat. Say hi to Marla. Hey, Marla. Okay, so here we've got our four single crochets, and I've already got my color ready to change um, down here, and I'm going from turquoise to orange. Okay, you're going to do a, um, one chain. You're going to chain once. Wow. Um, you're going to chain once, and then you're going to get ready to start doing your spikes, your lovely, lovely spikes. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go underneath your first set of single crochets or your second set or your third set um, and you're going to make the spikes that are, that are the varying lengths um, like over here see this is one chain this is three or two chains this is one chain this is three or single crochets geez okay one single crochet two three three two whatever I cannot count this is insane okay you get the idea. So what we're going to do is you're going to go like to the left of your chain and underneath it and <laughs> we've got a new cat. Say hi to Max y'all. Okay so you're going to go through here and you're going to you're going to push your hook through here. Nothing's going right today. <laughs> okay you're going to yarn over pull it through and this is basically like, you know, a chain stitch or whatever. This is nothing fancy. You're going to yarn over and pull it through both. What are you doing, buddy? His tail's just going nuts over here. Okay, and then we're going to do our next stitch, and it's going to go deeper this time. So I'm going to go through down here. I'm going to push it through the front side, and I'm going to yarn over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of head up, Max. I'm going to kind of, you know, move this up here like this, and I'm going to yarn over. And I'm going to pull it through. 
Um, this up here, it has a tendency to like go really wonky on you and sometimes it can be loose and it's ugly looking. But you don't really need to worry about that because we're going to actually cover that up. So here I am just doing some spikes here. You can um, make them all uniform if you want. You could do them all the same length. You can just kind of go crazy. I like the idea of going crazy and having things be a bit asymmetrical because, well, when you're trying to be symmetrical and things don't go right, it looks stupid, right? But, but if you can be like, I meant to do that. I was going for asymmetrical. Well, that's a whole nother, whole nother animal, isn't it? Okay. So, doing this business. And I know this looks awful because there's no rhyme or reason to it, but you can do better than that. I'm worried about time, I guess. Okay. See, and so you just bring that up nice and even like that. And it just, it just comes together. Looks lovely. And we're almost to the end. Almost so close. Let's go for a really deep one there. Okay. And at the end, you know, you're just going to go work out all the way to the end. So there we have a lovely set of spikes that um, have no pattern to them whatsoever. Because that's how we meant to do it, right? And now you're going to turn it over. You're going to chain once. And you are going to single crochet down the entire length of this thing. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, what you're going to do is after you get this set of single crochets worked out, you're going to turn, chain one, single crochet again, and you're going to do that until you get however many um, you start off with as a base. I did four of the turquoise, so I'm going to do four of the orange. And that's like all there is to it. Um, a chain stitch, a single crochet, and you're rocking something that looks pretty cool if you ask me. And I mean, spike and crochet, they seem like oxymorons, so I think it's pretty cool. But here's the one that I've already finished. Let's try to focus on that a little bit. And um, I actually went with a pattern where, you know, smaller to bigger to smaller again. But I didn't really pay attention to where I started, so um, they're a little bit off, but I like it. And I meant to do it, and it's what I was going for. So this is the spike crochet. This is Max, Spike and Max, and um, you can see um, pictures on how to do this or just more crochet tutorials at dreamalittlebigger.com. <laughs> Dream bye, y'all. Say bye, Max. Max says bye. Dude, let go.